and welcome to the bot box. It shouldn't come as a surprise to you that today we're talking about a spinner, given that its name is Revolution. However, today we're going to start with Revolution 2. The original Revolution tried to qualify for Series 5, but unfortunately it didn't get in. So, Revolution 2 was basically a weapon on wheels. Namely, three S-shaped, 36-inch long spinning blades. Um, spinning vertically. The weapon that was supported by a boxy frame that obviously was diagonal and had two wheels and couple casters to support the weapon, but it was not brilliantly armoured because of the weapon's weight. Still, it did qualify for Series 6 and found home in G along with its team's boast that it was the biggest, fastest weapon in River Wars. The draw was not kind. They drew Hammerbot Thor, which great team revolution. Flipper Judge Shred two and a half. What he's wrong with three. And Flipper Axe Wielding Walkerbot Anarchy. Revolution two immediately went for Judge Shred two and a half. However, the two bots got stuck in unholy robot matrimony at once. So, Anarchy attacked. Revolution 2 got free and attacked, got attacked by Judge Shred for its trouble, uh, Judge Shred 2.5. It stayed upright though and attacked the flipper once more. Still got stuck, which allowed Thor to give Judge Shred 2.5 a good hammering. It then, then gave Judge Shred to and a half a push around the arena, whilst the blades were still stuck. Uh, whilst Anarchy was trying to free Judge Shred to and a half. Thor managed to get Judge Shred to and a half again. Or well, get it free again. And so for the third time, Revolution 2 buried its spinners in Revolution, uh, in Judge Shred two and a half. However, once it got free, it ended up in the corner occupied by Dead Metal, where it got attacked. Specifically, the bit that spun got attacked. Eventually, Revolution 2 got free, followed by Judge Shred two and a half. After an anarchy attack, Revolution 2 got pinned to the floor by its own spinning blade and it got counted out. The Team Revolution tried to hide behind those spinning blades, one of which was bent on leaving the arena. They were asked not to boast next time. They returned for the new blood tournament in Extreme 2 with beefed up spinning blades that in theory shouldn't get so stuck. It landed in heat C and drew Rama Storm 2 and Horizontal Spinner Direct Action and did less of the boasting this time. Revolution 2 ended up out of focus early on due to Storm 2 electing to focus on direct action. Revolution 2 eventually got an attack in on Storm 2 before hitting Direct Action. Direct Action pushed Revolution 2 across the arena, though this did not appear to cause damage at first sight. However, the spinner then ended up going down. When it was next in focus, Revolution 2 got a nudge from Storm 2, and Direct Action opened the pit. Storm 2 nearly drove in whilst pushing direct action in, but direct action did end up in the pit. And thus, Revolution 2 were through to face Axpot ICU. Team Revolution watched 
ICU's pre-fight talk and uh, resumed with the boasting. Revolution 2 and ICU had a head-on collision, but ICU managed to push Revolution 2 into an arena wall. Revolution 2 got free only for it to drive into another arena wall. That never helps. Nor does losing a robot part after crashing into another wall. Ah, uh, has that actually stopped Revolution 2 from being able to move? So, ICU exit, dead metal attacked, ICU axed Sergeant Bash, and Revolution 2 were counted out. ICU opened the pit, Revolution 2 flew air for flipper and was pitted. They wanted to build a new robot for Series 7. That robot was Boxy Vertical Spinner Revolution 3, which landed in Series 7 H. It drew Horizontal Spinner, the scrapper, Computer Based Flipper Megahertz LT, LT standing for laptop, and Double Sided Double Flipper Syntagro. Revolution 3 first went for the scrapper, pushing it before hitting the spinner several times. It also attacked Megahertz LT. It then returned to the scrapper, hitting it enough times to kill it. For St. Agro kindly removed the scrapper from the arena. So Revolution 3 hit Megahertz LT before leaving it to St. Agro. Megahertz LT quickly ended up with the house robots. St. Agro then pushed a suddenly dead Revolution 3, but as Megahertz LT died first and got counted out, Revolution 3 was through. So Megahertz LT flew Air Floor Flipper and got pitted, well, as well as being attacked by the house robots, of course. Next up for Revolution 3 was Box Flipper Seros. And Team Revolution were going to help a poorly Seros. Seros has had a solemn audition. Revolution 3 opened the pit early by reversing into it, but after a hit from Eros, Revolution 3 stopped moving. Seros flipped the spinner over thrice before Shunt axed them at Revolution 3, that is. Seros then kindly rescued Revolution 3 from the house robots by taking them both on. The ref bot counted Revolution 3 out whilst Seros was busy flipping Shunt over. Then Seros engaged Sergeant Bash in battle, so Sergeant Bash could not do anything to uh, Revolution 3. The ref bot, however, rescued Shunt, which was bad news for Revolution 3. Because Shun came over and sent Revolution 3 to the drop zone. It had a TV land on it. And that was it for Revolution 3. Prior to the battle, the team said that the only thing that could go wrong was the link falling out. And after putting the link in badly, that was exactly what happened. Yeah. Fate was tempted right there. Ouch. Revolution 3 was the better robot. Revolution 2 was the more unique. A mix of the two would have been a very interesting robot. Who knows how well Revolution 3 would have done had it not been for the link. I don't know whether it would have won the fight with Zeros. I don't know whether it would have uh, won a rematch against Sintagro, but these things we will never know. Anyway, this week we could have just as easily had Devastator, the first tape that went a bit wrong, or Pussycat, the other slip that came out with Revolutions. Who will we really have next week? That is a good question.
Just making sure I actually have just the one slip cut out. I have one slip. Just one slip. Soup thing. Until next week, Callison 244, out.